Yes, see, so as you can see on this lawn leveler, my clippings of yesterday afternoon's mow is still fresh. I can serve that in a salad probably. I'm gonna take it and spare it in the fridge. Um, yeah, but no, no, there's chemicals on, on the leaf plays, especially if you've got children, guys. I've got plant growth regulator on there, so they'll probably turn out to be dwarfs. Maybe, maybe serve it to adults, okay? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome to the South African Lawn. Okay, Owens, lekker. Welcome uh, to this video. Um, in today's video, this product will be the candidate for this, the spraying application on this Kukuyu lawn of mine. Okay, and what is this? This is lawn till. This is a pre and post emergent herbicide. Um, okay, so why do I talk about this product today? Um, I did a video on this product um, just before the summer. Um, so this product here is obviously a pre and post emergent. Post emergent herbicide is your standard one that kills the weeds that already exists. Okay, and a pre emergent um, sits within, there's like a barrier just on top of the soil layer and then as the weeds germinate it kills it and then especially for this oak here right here it says winter grass, I hope it's focusing there winter grass, what is winter grass or what they call it on the golf course, poa or poa annua or poa nuala I don't know, I made that up, okay so poa annua is that lime greenish Kind of, I'll show you a picture. I actually took a video on the golf course yesterday, which I'll show you in a second, of what Poa Annua looks like. And this product controls it very, very effectively. Okay, so if you want to try and get rid of Poa Annua, um, you might want to consider picking up a product like this. I think you can get it from, uh, I saw it in Chamberlain's the other day. Um, there's probably a couple of places where you can find it. Uh, but Lawn Till will be the product to kill it and also... Um, keep it from coming up and now in this next month or so is a good time to think of putting something like this down to keep your power and your or your winter grass from germinating into your kukuyu lawn or quick lawn or buffalo lawn that's actually the three grass types that this is cool for you don't want to use this like on my kentucky bluegrass not that there's a lot of people who's got kentucky bluegrass but only for kukuyu buffalo grass and quirk or Sanodon dictylon which is Bermuda as we know it okay lacquer okay guys so I'm quickly just going to show you the video that I took at the golf course yesterday and um, I just want to talk for one or two seconds about the reasons why you would want to use a product like this to control the uh, annual bluegrass or power annua in your lawn um, and the reasons why you might not want to treat it um, because power annua is actually now considered to be quite a good growing grass you know it's an annual grass so what that means is it'll obviously germinate grow for a season winter grass obviously gives it away more through the winter and then as summer comes it'll start struggling through the summer months depending on the weather die off set seed well set seed die off and then germinate again in the following season so if you don't want those grasses around like goose grass but goose grass is not really relevant now because that germinates in the beginning of summer so we'll talk again about about goose grass in obviously springtime uh, but if you want to control this power annua then maybe this is a good time to watch it but i'm just going to show you a clip of the power annua that grows on the golf courses um, unfortunately i don't have any power in my yard or fortunately i don't have any power in my yard okay guys so here's a perfect example of power now checking out at the end of summer and then all those seeds will now germinate this is on the golf course obviously because I've got none at my house all of the seeds that's lying there will then now germinate in the beginning of winter 
busy dying. Most of it actually gone already. Okay, so right here is a great example maybe why you won't want to kill this off. Um, this power actually grows better in shade than Kikuyu. And I see the golf course here has put in some Kikuyu sod here, which I don't think, personally, I don't think they're going to have good success here. I think this power is going to grow much better. And let me just show you close up what it looks like. Come on, Adi does. Um, so this is the seed stalk. It looks exactly like that, guys. This is power right there. And it grows better in shade than Kikuyu would. So um, this might be the one of the only reasons why you would want to keep it in the shaded areas and not kill it out um, because it will do better under a big tree like this than the Kikuyu. Yeah, so in my personal opinion, um, if you've got nothing growing underneath trees, it might be dumb of you to spray the power annual out um, and have nothing like I have right there um, because it's difficult to get something to grow. I am going to do some drastic measures there, cutting some trees down and whatever to try and get some more sun through. Uh, but if, if there's nothing, I think power is going to look better than nothing at all. Um, so I hope that explains it to you. However, the one downside that I have to power growing in warm season lawns is that when the power thrives in the winter, it being green, your kukuyu might be brown. So then it looks a little bit patchy. Um, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so that might be one of the only reasons why in your general area you might want to spray it out but like in the shaded areas maybe leave it okay or change that to LM or whatever the case may be if you're spraying it out then. Right Aaron so the application rate for this product is um, and I want you to read especially with chemicals like this you need to read your leaflet um, fairly accurately so how this works is it's 20 to 40 mils of this chemical I'm going to try and not get it on my hands per 10 liters of water over 100 square meters of lawn. Um, so just read the leaflet when you're working with a thing is just like this. I've still, I've got some water already in this water. I know this cap is 20 mils. So I'm gonna go at the lowest rate here. I'm gonna go at 30. And that should give me good enough coverage and a half. There we go. It flipping looks like white paint and it also smells a bit like white paint. So on this almost 200 square meters I would need like 15 to 20 liters of water which I think is too much. I'm going to go with like 10 liters of water otherwise my left arm will fall off because of all the pumping here. That's good. All right and the actual application works a little bit different here. Um, so what you do is you spray it on your lawn hopefully measured out correctly and then you wait eight hours for the actual post-emergence to take effect on the existing weeds and then you water it in with 10 to 15 milli, 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 millimeters <laughs> classic of water after approximately eight hours so that that pre-emergent goes down and sits within the soil lacquer okay so with this amount of water it's probably going to be two passes can't think that I'll get 10 liters down with one pass. I normally do about five liters on this lawn. And there she goes. Right, so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not such a great fan of spraying this product on my lawn um, this time of the year, just purely because I've done, I don't have power on my lawn. So I'm purely spraying this for explanation purposes and also to kill the existing weeds in my lawn. Um, another thing to keep in mind is obviously this is a, a pre-emergent, so if you are thinking of seeding, doing any seeding of any sorts, whether you're applying this product in the beginning of the season, in the middle of the season, at the end of the season, this will keep your grass seed from coming up. So you can't apply this product. And then probably the next question would be like, okay, if I had applied this product, when has it worked out or when 
has it depleted in the soil or when is the barrier no longer effective? And that's a very good question because I read up the previous time when I did this video, I read up on how long does this pre-emergence stay within the soil and there's a lot of contributing factors which breaks that barrier down. So uh, when you're doing mechani me mechanical stuff that breaks the barrier down like dethatching or aeration, those type of things, does decrease the time as well as heat and a couple of water, different, different factors that breaks down the thing. So it's, it's almost impossible to say exactly how long. Um, but when you see weeds popping back up, um, that could be within a, uh, from a month to approximately three months, um, then that's a good indication that your barrier has broken down. Yes, guys, I'm gonna have to get an elbow replacement or something. This left arm of mine is is not so lucky now anymore. Okay, so this thing is prob almost empty. It's busy spitting air balls here. Yeah? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hold the camera with that. This one's far too tight. Um, yeah, and I think that wraps it up. Hopefully, I've covered everything. Um, so you can't obviously see it after you've used this product. Let it dry on the leaf for approximately eight hours, then water it in to get the pre-emergent activated on the soil layer and you should be good to go guys weed free lawn i've actually spotted quite a lot of weeds um, in general i think this lawn looks lacquer um, i've now added some compost here for my uh, bare areas to grow in goodness gracious guys it's been an entire season and this thing is still recovering uh, but i must say it's going a little bit slow because my dog is really a, a scratch a recovering scratch addict um, you know, he has a relapse every now and then. Just goes there and he <coughs> just hoys another one. But I can't blame him. I have to, I have to praise him for his efforts. Really, it's, he's turned it around. So yeah, I've sprayed that on the lawn. Couple of broadleaf stuff here and there. But not a lot of grassy weeds, to be honest with you. This uh, oxalis is the main issue in my yard here. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that'll sort it out. Guys, thank you. Is the camera guys thank you so much for watching i really really do appreciate you guys watching my videos and subscribing to my channel if you've liked this video smash the like button smash it right now and then uh, i think i'll see you in the next video oh and be be certain to clear out your sprayer before you put it away the other day i rinsed my sprayer obviously on that kentucky bluegrass killed off a huge patch if you don't remember that go and have a look at the old videos that was a nightmare guys i had a flipping two by two meter dead spot there my my lord see you in the next video bye bye like a palace